Good afternoon to all of you. Today, I am going to talk about a topic, nervous system. This is the unit first of the MOOC sample course being developed at NEPA. I belong to the medical group and I am going to discuss about the nervous system. Nervous system, as we know, is the control system or regulatory system of the body, which in collaboration with the endocrine system controls almost all functions of our body. The nervous system comprises of primarily it is divided into two parts that is central nervous system and peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system comprises of the brain and spinal cord, neurons in the supporting cells, neuroglial cells and the structure of brain and spinal cord are arranged into two layers. Gray matter is formed by neurocell bodies while white matter is formed by neurofibers. The organization of the nervous system, it's comprised as is clear from that it's the brain and spinal cord that form the central nervous system. Then there are the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system comprises the sensory neurons, the motor neurons, and then there are parasympathetic and sympathetic, which are the divisions of the automatic disorder divisions of the central nervous system. The functions of the nervous system are that the signal is received from the outside through sensory receptors. Then it is being integrated at the junctions or we call this is the brain and spinal cord junctions. And then this is integrated and an effector response is shown through a motor input that is received at the sensory receptors. The nerve fibers are there are support tissues which support the and protect the neurons it is comprised of neuroglia neuroglia is made up of four types of different cells one component is the astrocytes then there are microglial cells then there are epidermal cells then there are oligodendrocytes let us discuss all of them one by one the astrocytes they are the numerous processes that give the cell a star-shaped appearance maintain the ion balance around neurons and control the exchange of materials between blood vessels and neurons. They are a part of the blood brain barrier system. Then there are oligodendrocytes. They have fewer processes than astrocytes. They wrap these cytoplasmic processes around neurons to create an insulating material or barrier around the myelin sheath. Then there are the microglial cells. These are the phagocytic macrophages that provide a protective function by engulfing microorganisms and cellular debris. Then the epidermal cells. They are lined and fluid filled cavities of the brain and spinal cord. Many are ciliated that make central cerebrospinal fluids or CSF. The, let us now discuss the neuron, which is the basic structural unit of the nervous system. So neuron is defined as the structural and functional unit of the nervous system. It's like any other cell in the body having nucleus and all the organelles in cytoplasm. Neuron is different from other cells by two ways. Neuron has branch or processes called exons and dendrites. Neurons do not have central zone, so it does not undergo division. So the neuron Typically, it looks like this. This is the cell body and these are the dendrites. The signal direction is from the cyton to the exon. Then it is having a nucleus. The, this is the exon. This is the exon hillock. Then you are having the signal direction. It is going from the cell body that is the dendrites towards the exon terminals. Then you have synaptic terminal, terminal branch. Then this is the synapsis. New, two neurons showing synapses. This is synaptic cell and the, another one is the post synaptic cell. That is signal will be received by these dendrites in the sensor organ or sensory neuron. It will be integrated and then at the synapses, then the post synaptic signal will be shown to the effector motor organ and the response will be shown. The structure of the neuron, it is a neuro cell body, the dendrites, then there is uh, exon, neuro cell body, it contains the nucleus, the nissel granules, the neurofibrils, mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, and dendrites and exon, obviously. 
the nerve fibers some are myelinated while the others are non myelinated the myelin sheath protects the um, uh, these axon terminals from damage and there are many other functions that is the help in the saltating conduction of the signal transduction that is the signal through myelinated sheath fibers is very fast as compared to the non myelinated sheaths so myelin sheath is made up of actually around the axons it's made up of shion cells then in between those there, there are the nodes of ranvier and this when the signal passes it passes or jumps from one node of node of ranvier to another node of ranvier so the signal is fast as compared to the normal signal transduction in non myelinated nerve fibers so this type of conduction is called as the saltation conduction so there are three types of neurons usually one is unipolar neuron then there is bipolar neuron and then there are the multipolar neurons present in our system the multipolar neurons and the bipolar neurons and unipolar neurons as we can distinction make a distinction from their structures only thank you so much this was only about the nervous system how the neuros nerve cell or the neuron and what are the different types of the neurons thank you so much for watching this next time see you with a different topic till then bye bye take care of yourself